Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor Indoor Texan. Today I'll be showing y'all my recipe for a delicious creamy green jalapeno sauce using only a handful of ingredients. Versions of this sauce are wildly popular in Mexican and Tex-Mex restaurants, as well as taco trucks all around my neck of the woods. And for good reason. The creamy consistency coats well on a chip if you want to attack it chips and salsa style, and it has a beautiful fresh pepper taste with zips of lime and cilantro that pair really well on a multitude of food options. Before getting started, make sure to check the description below for a list of ingredients and supplies needed for the cook. And once we've got everything rounded up, let's get cooking. We'll be starting out with roughly a half pound of fresh jalapeno peppers, which is usually around six to eight depending on their size. The other main ingredient we'll be starting with is half of a yellow onion. Keep in mind, all onions are not made equally. Make sure it's a yellow onion rather than the harsher flavored white ones for this recipe. Slice your half onion into simple strips. Now to prep your jalapenos, simply remove the tops and then slice them into large coins. Once you're done prepping the jalapenos and onion, we're going to move over to a hot pan on the stovetop. In an oiled non-stick pan set to medium heat, toss in your jalapenos and make sure to continuously stir so nothing sticks and burns. We're just aiming to soften and lightly sear the surface of these peppers, which will open up and develop the jalapenos overall flavors. You can also toss these on a grill for a more fire and smoke approach, but I thought to show you all the simplest method here. A big word of warning here is that your peppers will release some airborne heat, so make sure your kitchen has some good ventilation running, and don't stand over it huffing and breathing. Other recipes sometimes call to boil your peppers for this step, which you can do if you're really worried about that spicy air, but I haven't been happy with the way that the peppers come out when using the boiling method. They seem to lose a lot of color, and the flavors aren't near as complex. Once your peppers are just about soft and seared, toss in your onions to sweat them out until they're translucent. After a couple minutes, your onions should be softened enough and ready, so take everything off the range and set it aside to cool for about 5 minutes. Once everything's cool enough to handle, transfer the veg into your blender. You're also welcome to use a food processor or even one of those handheld immersion blenders, but I'm just going with the simplest choice that I have on hand. After the peppers and onions, add 2 cloves of garlic one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, and if you can't find it nearby, just mix it all together because it's not the same as regular oregano, trust me. The juice from half a lime, about half a bunch of cilantro. If you're one of those people who genetically hate cilantro, thinks it tastes like soap, etc., feel free to mix this as well. And finally, our secret ingredient, about half a cup of neutral vegetable oil. Do not use olive oil. The flavor is way too strong for this recipe. I'm using canola, but any of the flavorless oils work fine. The oil is the key to making this sauce creamy. Instead of using avocado that quickly browns or dairy that eventually spoils, we're using emulsification to create that creamy texture. It's science. Just before blending, also make sure to add one teaspoon of kosher salt. Flip the switch and start blending. Timing will differ, but you want to step up the power slowly until it's sitting on your highest setting and really giving everything a thorough blend. Once all the solid ingredients are no longer visible and the sauce is blended into a smooth texture, you're good to go. Before pouring the sauce out though, make sure to give it a taste in case it's missing anything like salt or other vital tweaks. And just like that, you're done. You now have a hefty batch of creamy green jalapeno sauce ready to go for your next fiesta. Given this batch of taste, I'm immediately hit with a tang of lime and salt. Then there's a snap of fresh jalapeno and that creeping mild heat before everything gets smoothed over by the emulsified creamy texture that coats your mouth. This stuff is good on everything. First grab some tortilla chips and get to scooping. Before you empty the bowl though, try it on a row of tacos or drizzle it over a fresh salad for that bite of acid. Another favorite use for this sauce in our house is adding a few drops to grilled meat. It is excellent. Speaking of, we just so happened to be eating steak the same day I made this batch. So I used the fresh sauce as a delicious citrus and pepper drizzle over the savory beef. It was so good. As far as shelf life goes, this sauce will stay fresh in your fridge for about a week. If you're looking to keep it beyond that though, I would toss it in the freezer. Be warned, it will probably separate in the freezer and you'll need to blend it again when you take it out. That'll do it for this recipe and thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you're already addicted to green sauce, or if this is your first time and you're actually giving this recipe a shot. I always try to be available to my viewers, so don't be shy in leaving a quick question. If you're new to the channel, I hope I've been helpful in sharing my perspective, and please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more great content to come. Alright y'all, take care.